This is the second of four installments on the cardiac ultrasound standard views, and we're covering the parasternal short axis today. And thanks to the Division of Emergency Ultrasound at the Massachusetts General Hospital for some of the ultrasound images and videos. Um, and uh, in our last module, we covered parasternal long axis, and today we're covering the uh, parasternal short axis, which is the second view. And as you recall, when we were obtaining a parasternal long axis, we were pointing transducer marker either to the right shoulder or to the left hip, uh, depending on what uh, convention you were using. So in the case where you're operating under the cardiology convention, you would have the transducer marker pointing towards the patient's right shoulder. And then to get a short axis from that, all you have to do is to rotate the transducer 90 degrees clockwise and point it towards the left shoulder. Alternatively, if you had the transducer pointing towards the left hip, uh, operating under the emergency or abdominal setting, then what you're going to do to get the short axis from the long axis or your home base view would be to again rotate it 90 degrees and point it towards the patient's right hip instead. And that's what this would look like, kind of rotating it clockwise. Okay, and um, because you had it centered around the mitral valve, that would generally be the level that you expect to see. So here we have the um, um, heart again, and what we're going to do is to do a cross section like so. And um, we're going to rotate that, and this is the view that we're expecting to see. So as you can see, if you had it centered around the mitral valve, um, you, what you're going to want to do is to actually scan it a little bit lower to try to catch the papillary muscles. Um, I didn't really catch uh, the second one here, but uh, you kind of get the, the idea. So that's the uh, image that we are going to obtain on ultrasound in here. You can see that we went from parasternal long axis um, to parasternal short where you can right there and then rotating and then you get the mitral valve in view right there. Okay, so um, the papillary muscle should show up, and this is really the view that we're trying to obtain in the parasternal short axis, and the anatomy will go over um, as such. So what you have is the left ventricle on the right-hand side of the screen, and the right ventricle on the left-hand side, the septum being right here. Um, ideally, the ventricle, um, in the absence of pathology, should look uh, fairly round um, and concentric, and then you have your Anterolateral papillary muscle over here and your postural medial uh, papillary muscle over there. Um, you don't need to, but um, I, if you're uh, for more advanced users, you may want to actually scroll through the heart to look at different aspects of the heart. So you can kind of tilt or angle um, a little bit towards the apex, kind of to look down towards the apical region. Or alternatively, you can also sweep up or, or um, tilt your transducer to have a look at the uh, aortic valve. Okay, so that's what that movement would look like. Here we have kind of tilting towards the apex, which is located over here, and then tilting up to look at the aortic valve. So anatomically, these are some of the structures that you're going to see. You have your mitral valve, and then you see the papillary muscle. As you look towards the apex, the ventricle should get smaller. As you tilt back up, the first valve you should hit is the mitral valve, which is a bivalve. We call that the fish mouth uh, view. And then as you tilt up even further, you should start seeing the aortic valve, which is a tri-leaflet, um, unless you have bicuspid aort uh, aortic valve. Again, your, your um, right side of the heart's over here and the left side of the heart's over there. Okay, so here we have the bileaflet mitral valve over here. And then as you st start to scroll back up, you're going to start seeing what we call the Mercedes signs or the trileaflet uh, aortic valve. So let's go through some of the structures a little bit uh, more closely. So this is, again, the um, bileaflet um, fish uh, mouth view of the mitral valve. 
And anatomically, you're looking at the septum here, right ventricle here, anterior mitral valve over here, and then posterior mitral valve uh, on the bottom. And then as you scroll up to look at the uh, trileaflet um, aortic valve, this is the Mercedes-Benz line, um, you have your right atrium here, tricuspid valve here, right ventricle um, going through. You can see a hint of the uh, pulmonic valve as well. So anatomically, you're looking at the uh, three leaflets of the aortic valve, and then these are the other structures um, that may be important for some of the other pathologies that um, uh, you might look for, such as an embolus, etc. So the take-home points uh, from this module, um, once you have your home base view, which is the parasternal long axis, what you want to do is rotate 90 degrees clockwise um, and identify the papillary muscles. And um, you know you can you can stop there, or if you want, you can actually sweep through the short axis to kind of catch some of the other structures, such as the apex, um, mitral valve, and aortic valve. Um, again, this is our uh, website. Uh, feel free to uh, check that out. Um, there are other tutorials loaded up there as well. And thanks for tuning in.